Assalamu alaikum dear friends today we are going to study about the magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate is used in the severe um, uh, preeclampsia and in eclamptic patients we are all well aware of its use now in our today's discussion we are going to study about the mechanism of action of the magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate has three main mechanisms that is peripheral vasodilatation it has anti conversion activities and it decreases uh, it has effect on the blood brain barrier and decreases cerebral edema formation and how it works let us discuss so first action is peripheral vasodilatation peripheral vasodilatation is performed through its uh, property of calcium channel blocker magnesium has effect on the smooth muscles as well as effect on the endothelium uh, it, uh, it has effect on the uterine smooth muscles, mesenteric smooth muscles, aorta and cerebral smooth muscles. By, uh, by, uh, by uh, um, affecting the smooth muscles, it acts as a calcium channel blocker. When uh, it acts as a calcium channel blocker, uh, it decreases the entry of calcium into the cells. There is decreased intracellu uh, intracellular calcium which causes relaxation and vasodilatation. On the other hand, it has effect on the endothelium. It increases the production of the prostaglandin I2, which decreases platelet aggregation and increases the production of the nitric oxide. So nitric oxide is a vasodilator, so um, affecting on the um, endothelium as well as on the smooth muscles um, by blocking the calcium channels, it causes peripheral vasodilatation. It has second uh, function of anti-convulsion activity. Now understand how it works. This is a neuron. So in eclamptic patient, there is increased uh, release of the glutamate. There is excessive release of the neurotransmitter glutamate. And what does this glutamate do? It binds to the NEMDA receptors. So when it binds to the NEMDA receptors, there is massive depolarization of the neuronal networks, which causes burst of action potential and hence uh, eclamptic fits in a eclamptic patient what happens the in eclamptic patient there is release of the glutamate which binds with the nemda receptors which causes depolarization of the neuronal networks and burst of action potential now how magnesium works magnesium it works as a nemda receptor antagonist Magnesium is a NEMDA receptor antagonist. It binds with the NEMDA receptors and hence the, the, the glutamate, it does not bind with the NEMDA receptors and hence the lim, it limits the massive de neuronal depolarization. <sighs> Let's repeat again. This is a neuron. In eclamptic patient, there is excessive release of the glutamate which binds with the NEMDA receptors which leads to the depolarization and burst of action potential and hence uh, seizure activity in the eclamptic patient. Magnesium, when magnesium sulfate is given, it works as a NEMDA receptor antagonist. NEMDA receptor antagonist decreases the neuronal depolarization and hence action potential and leads to the um, anti conversion activity then there is a uh, effect on the blood brain barrier and cerebral edema formation as we all know that in eclamptic patient there is cerebral edema and let's understand by this diagram this is an cerebral endothelial cell and what happens in the uh, uh, eclamptic patient there, uh, the tight junctions, the blood brain barrier is disturbed. The tight junctions, they have increased permeability and which causes release of the cellular content out of the cell and leads to the cerebral edema formation. Now, again, uh, magnesium has activity, calcium uh, antagonist. It has antagonist properties. It binds with the calcium channels. The calcium, it does not enter into the cell and there is um, decreased, uh, there is an uh, permeability of the tight junction is maintained and vascular contents are not released inside uh, out of the cell. Now let's understand magnesium, it has calcium antagonist properties. 
calcium does not uh, enter into the cell or calcium is not available for the contraction so there is decreased cell contraction and decreased tight junction permeability and when there is decreased permeability the cellular content is not released out of the cell and hence it decreases the edema formation now let's have a quick recap it dilates cerebral vasculature and it has the properties of the peripheral vasodilatation relieves cerebral vasospasm it uh, acts uh, uh, as a lambda receptor blocker and uh, it um, lambda receptor antagonist and hence decreases the seizure activity and it is the calcium channel uh, blocker calcium antagonist and decreases intracellular calcium so the main uh, function of the um, magnesium uh, sulfate is the peripheral vasodilatation it has effect on the smooth muscle as well as effect on the endothelium calcium channel blocker decreases entry of the calcium inside the cell and hence causes uh, relaxation and vasodilatation and hence decreases the vasospasm it has anti convulsant properties anti convulsant properties is by uh, acting as a lambda receptor antagonist when there is um, when it acts as a lambda receptor antagonist it decreases uh, the ma massive neuronal depolarization and hence decreases the burst of action potential and eclamptic fields are controlled it has effect on the blood brain barrier by again uh, working as a calcium antagonist uh, calcium uh, when there is not available it decreases the cell contraction and decreases the tight junction permeability and hence the cerebral edema formation is decreased this is the mechanism of action of the magnesium sulfate